Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Lynn and today my video is for a project that is actually a cross-company collaboration between Pear Blossom Press and La La Land Crafts. I received these fabulous goodies from La La Land Crafts and I've known about this company for a while but I've actually never purchased anything from them before. So I was really thrilled and excited to be a uh, part of this collaboration. I also just really love when companies help each other and uh, collaborate in this way. So what I did in advance was I did stamp out some of these fun ghosts onto vellum. I used stays on ink to stamp with. And one of the things that is something to keep in mind if you're going to do what I'm doing, where I'm coloring in the stamped image with my alcohol marker, the stays on ink, it is a solvent based ink. It's non porous and great for stamping on things like plastic, vellum, etc. But because it is solvent based and alcohol markers are a solvent, you have the potential of actually um, smearing and smudging your stamped image if you get your marker too, too close to that stamped image. Uh, so if you're going to color with alcohol marker onto your vellum like I have, just be careful not to get too close to those stamped lines because it might actually um, bleed a little bit, might actually start to smear or smudge those uh, stamped lines. So you can get right up real close to them and maybe kind of push some of that ink <laughs> towards the stamp line without getting wet ink um, right directly on top of it. The other thing is maybe let your stays on ink dry for a bit longer because then it might actually take a little bit more of your alcohol to, um, smudge it. So a couple precautions you can take, but just keep that in mind. I just really like the look of coloring alcohol marker onto vellum because it still maintains the translucency of the vellum and yet it imparts a bit of color. So my card today, I actually found this leftover panel. This is on watercolor paper and I recognize the colors. This is Lindy's Gang. I'm not exactly sure when I made this panel or for what project, but I saw it um, leftover <laughs> in my pile of scraps here and I didn't want to let it go to waste. It looked like it was close to mini slimline in size. It's just shy of three and a half by six. So I think that's kind of close enough. And I feel like in any case, um, there's really no agreement on the standard size for mini slim lines. So I made a card base for that and I went ahead and um, stamped and heat embossed the sentiment ghostly greetings. And now I'm going to use some of my Dr. PH Martin's um, bleed proof white this is uh they there's different types of um the dr ph martin's white and you want the bleed proof white that's going to be a brighter white than the other one that they have and i just did a nice um spattering of white across here just to give it that look of a starry sky and i feel like this panel because it was cut there's some edges that are dark which feel like I think those must have been sort of the natural edge where the colors sort of just pulled at the edges and then there's some edges that feel like it's a cut edge so I wanted to make it a little bit more consistent I'm going to do some ink blending all around the borders just to give it a little bit of that vignette effect and just make it a little bit darker really concentrate your eyes towards the center and um, it helps to just uh, frame it a little bit as well. And so I did real quick inking just with some of my Versa Magic ink, which is a nice uh, chalky pigment ink. And I think that's my panel complete. So now I can um, turn my attention to my lights. So these are, um, this is a single light that comes as part of the halo light combo. So in the halo light combo, you get two halo lights and four single lights, which I think is really fabulous. I feel like this is a really good value for money because 
you get six lights, but not only that, you get different types of lights and very, very different types. Like this has a single light, whereas the halo light is actually five lights in a circular ring. So um, it's really great to have that variety. And all I've done is put a pencil mark where I want my light to shine through and I poked a hole right through this panel. That way that light can really escape through that hole and be brighter. And I wanted that light to be right behind the pumpkin, uh, sort of as if, and I know it's a sort of a Halloween bucket, but I just like the, the idea that it might glow. And so that's where I decided to put my um, uh, hole so that it's brightest in that spot. And then I put a, I gave myself another pencil mark for where to stamp out the word push. I happen to be stamping with a white pigment ink as opposed to a clear ink because it's, well, for a couple of reasons. One, when I stamp it, it's easier for me to see on top of that dark color. And two, when I go to heat and bus, I feel like it's a little bit more bright white because it already sort of has a foundation of white ink and then I'm going to white heat emboss on top of it. So I feel like that helps it to be a bit um, more white and I uh, heat embossed right on top of this um, background which I, re I know I made with Lindy's Gang and there was no bleeding. So it's very very bright white so I was really happy with um, how that turned out. And now to install the light is as easy as just gluing your light down. Now the struggle is to get my glue bottle to actually <laughs> uh, have some glue come out of it. Apparently it got a little bit clogged. <laughs> so who knew that that would be the biggest struggle in installing this light. But you can use, if you wanted, you could use a dry adhesive too. I always, I always like to use a wet adhesive because it's going to be a little bit more permanent. At least it will um, hold uh, to the paper more strongly. Now, I'm going to be a little bit generous with my um, tape because I don't like for the top panel to have any saggy spots and um, this is the world's best foam tape which is already the perfect thickness for the pear blossom press lights because you have to give a, enough clearance so that the button and the battery pack aren't under constant pressure so that will make it so that you really have to intentionally push the button to to have it light up now with the um pear blossom press world's greatest uh world's best foam tape you do get some working time with it. So it has some pretty unique properties in that you have about 30 minutes where that tape is repositionable and not permanent. But if you give it enough time, and I would really say for it to fully cure, maybe on the safe side, give it a day. Um, but it's going to have a strong permanent bond after uh, that 30 minutes. And boy, did I really need that property on this card. So you can see when I push the button, because it's uh, so bright, it lights up so much of the card. And you can kind of see the shadow of the foam. Now, normally, I, I backed this with some black cardstock. I just didn't think to do it. But in this case, what I had to do was I want the ghost to be um, lit up. So I actually had to stamp onto white cardstock another ghost. I fussy cut that. And then I traced that ghost onto black paper. And then I fussy cut out my um, aperture from there. So that blocks everything but my ghost. So that when I push this button, instead of seeing the outline of the stamps, um, you see less of that and more, and the light is actually more concentrated um, just where the ghost is. 
So that's something that you can do if you're finding that you can still see like the, the corner of the, um, of a little bit of foam, but otherwise it, I think the effect is really lovely. Um, I think that actually might be the, uh, the light unit itself that you're seeing. So you can only block out so much, but I, I really love, uh, just that addition of that black cardstock and, um, it was well worth the time to kind of cut out that opening so that it blocks everything surrounding the ghost and it really makes it so that the ghost is glowing. Lots of fun. I really hope that um, you enjoyed this card. If you pop on over to Instagram, you can hop along because this collaboration is actually a giveaway hop but that's being held over on Instagram. So pop on over to my Instagram profile to start your hop. I'll leave a link to that in the description box below. And thanks so much for checking out my video. Good luck on the giveaway. Until next time, happy crafting and have a fabulous day. Bye.